Hey friends, welcome back to my studio. I just love hanging out with you. I'm gonna paint a little four by four inch canvas. This is a little four inch by four inch canvas panel from US Art Supply. I drilled two holes in it so I can wire it, so it can hang. I'll link how to wire it in this video's description. I'm gonna paint it similar to this, so you kinda know where we're going, but I'm gonna put a butterfly in it. Okay guys, let's have some fun. Okay, I'm gonna try to paint this one mostly in real time. Depending on how fast I can do it, I may speed up parts, so it's a warning. <laughs> but I know some of you like real time. Okay, here's a screenshot of the one I flashed in the intro. I actually have painted two of them. They're very similar. And I'm using a palette. So this palette I've had going for a few days now. And then I also used th this palette last night to paint this one during a live stream that you might like. This one has a traceable on my website, AnnieTro.com. So I may have to put out fresh paint. I may, it explains why I have some different colors here that I may not use. Okay, so I'm just gonna take, maybe I'll just take this brush. It is a three quarter inch flat brush from Royal and, L Royal and Langnickel. I'm gonna get it wet because it feels a little stiff. I don't think I cleaned it very well. And then, oh, my colors are Thalo Blue, Titanium White, Mars Black. I don't think I'll use any of the Cad Yellow Medium Hue. Um, Quinacridone Magenta. And those are my colors. And then the rest are mixes. We'll talk about them as I use them. Okay, so I'm gonna grab some white. So this is Thalo Blue and White that I already had mixed. And I'm just gonna do sweeping motion. I have a cloud video where I demonstrate how to do a sweeping sky. I'm gonna hold it up because maybe you can see it a little better. I'm not totally sure. Uh, I think I kinda wanna set it down just for my sake here. I don't know if it'd be a little sturdier, or a little less wiggling. There's some dried paint I just picked out. That's the downside maybe of using an older palette. You get some dried paint on there. So all I'm thinking is the sky is darker at the top, lighter at the bottom. But I also want it dark enough to show some clouds. I'm gonna dry this with a hair dryer so I can grab the other end, I think, and then I'll be back. I'm also trying to look a little bit to see how blue it is. I'm getting a little glare because I usually pick this up so I can see it. I think we're dark enough. Okay, I'll be right back, guys. Okay, I dried it with a hair dryer and painted the sides off camera. It's still not cured, but it, I can touch it. I'll grab some white. So you can do a straight across sky. You don't have to have this sort of, it looks kind of like a little bit like an ocean when I do this sweeping. Um, I think it helps because it can look like clouds without you having to put clouds on it. Okay, I'm gonna dry it with a hair dryer. I'll be back. Okay, normally I let this dry for like an hour even though I've dried it well with a hair dryer just so I don't, the, I don't wake up the background paint. I'm gonna take, oh, I think that's a 3 8 inch filbert. It says number 10 on it. For making, I'm gonna paint, uh, I'm gonna hint at a few clouds. I'll link how to paint clouds in this video's description. It has me demonstrating clouds with a makeup brush, a palette knife, 
um, a filbert brush. I can't remember all the different things I did. It was, it was fun. I, I'm pretty sure I also demoed doing it with water or matte medium. I'm just gonna do it with water here. So I'm grabbing some clean water, grab some clean white paint, thin it out. And I'm gonna wipe some off because I'm not gonna need much. And just grab a little on the end of my brush. And then we'll see kind of which one I like the clouds on better. Of course, they turn out different every time. Yeah, I don't know if I have a preference here. I'll just set them there. So I've already got little hints of clouds going, which is nice. So let's, um, so put down where you want, you think you want the most color. And then I'm gonna actually wipe off my brush some more and just kind of wiggle and squiggle and push it out, let it run out. Okay, that didn't go very far because I, because <laughs> I was scared and I didn't um, have much paint on my brush, but that's okay too. You can go slow. I'm gonna maybe pick this up and try it again to where I can see it a little better. Where do I want the cloud? My bee's gonna go about right here. So maybe, it's gonna wipe out my brush. You can also kind of grab a little water. There's a little water in my brush there. And that kind of wakes up the paint. You can move it a little more. And I don't know if you have to be this wiggly. I just, I am. I'm kind of wiggly. Okay. I'm a little worried that my bee is gonna go right there. Or my butterfly. Oh, it's gonna be a butterfly. I think we'll be okay. Yeah. I'm kind of waking it up and just kind of push it. I don't know that I'm making any difference here. You can tell I'm kind of, I woke it up some. I think we'll just let it dry. Sometimes it's kind of nice to do a few little wispies. Of course, I, I, it's kind of fun so then I get carried away with it. There you can see I'm lifting up the paint now because it's trying to dry. Leave it alone. That's for me. I'm telling myself to leave it alone. Yeah, my, cloud, my clouds turn out different every time. I'm not sure. I'm gonna have flowers that come up pretty high. See, now that scares me because it's so white. So then I wipe off my brush. I dipped it in my water too a little bit there that time. So what's nice about a filbert is you kind of get that a little bit of a rounded. See, that's about the shape of the brush. Little rounded cloud puffs. It's not, the background's not lifting up. It's winter time here, really dry in my house, so that helps. Those actually might be my favorite clouds so far. <laughs> I laugh. Um, I laugh because you can't, one thing, uh, one thing that uh, painting does is you can't control it all. I try to, so then I laugh because I try to control it. And I'm just like, oh, just laugh. It's just, it's a fun thing. Don't sweat it. Easier said than done. And then I can come back and brighten up these clouds because I get scared, but they dry down a little bit because the paint is so thin. So acrylics dry about a half a step darker. There's like a grayscale with 10 steps that you can buy, get at an art store. Probably can get it online. Um, so that's what I mean by a half a step. But when the paint's really thin, I think it dries even a little darker. I think I'm just gonna let that dry. Uh, actually, I'm gonna dry it with a hair dryer and I'll be back. So do we wanna brighten up, take a little, just a little bit of paint.
Can you see the difference? Another layer and um, no water makes makes it much brighter. And then I don't know if we need it, but I'm, I'm probably going to have my flowers dip down. I tend to do that. Kind of follows the background. You know, instead of just going straight across, it's a little more interesting, in my opinion. But that's really light. Grab some of my thinned out white. Okay, I'm, I'll be back after I hair dry. Okay, this is a couple hours later. I like how this cloud is catching a little more light, a little more sunlight. I sketched out some butterflies just to get an idea of what I might want to do. You could um, screenshot those, scale them to whatever size you want, trace them. So I kind of want... Bees are easier because I just draw an oval. <laughs> Well, I could kind of draw an oval kind of there. Okay, let's do this. Let's just, oh, this is a um, chalk pastel pencil from Derwent. Isn't that gorgeous? So it's a lot like the larger chalk pastels I use. Here's one, I've got one sitting here from, um, it's a new pastel which I believe is Prismacolor, but I'm kind of drawing a blank right now. Oh yeah, I'm pretty sure it is. Okay, let's keep moving so this video isn't too long. Okay, I'm a little nervous. Let's just, okay, that'll work. Let's just put, I'm gonna put the body in so I have something to aim at. And then I think I like this one, but it's a little, I'm gonna try maybe do it a little smaller and maybe just one wing, we'll see here. Straight lines can help. You don't have to draw them all curvy. It can make things a little easier. I'm gonna kind of find the this one maybe. Okay, that helps. I just kind of need to know basically where it's going to go. I mixed a little more green, just yellow and phthalo blue, and then mixed a little more of this gray green. I have quite a bit of brown, and I'm going to put in some grasses. Okay, so let's have one. Oh, I've got a lot of paint on there. Oh, this is a 3 8 angle angle brush from Royal and Langnickel. Alright, do I, can I, oh yeah, I can scoot a little bit. Okay, let's put one. Just kind of, I put in a few sort of headliners. <laughs> I don't know why, I just thought that was kind of a funny name. Just so I kind of know. I was just switching the color there a little bit. I don't know if I needed to do that yet. I think I'll have a V kind of down here. A little bit more water. I don't mind the dry. So that's dry brushing where you can see the canvas panel, the texture of the canvas panel. I don't mind that necessarily. A little more water will help it flow. I'm just gonna grab some brown. Let's have one a little shorter. So basically I'm kind of designing it and then I can come back and fill in all the grass. 
different grasses. That's awfully thin. Oh, I don't know if you can hear freckles. I'll be back. It's okay if they get fat. Hey, freckles. She just came into my studio. Oops, too much water. wipe off my brush just here this you can see here kind of went from brown to greens to some blues in here almost looks black right there that's all I'm thinking let's see should we have one Sometimes it's harder to paint little paintings than if we went like to a six by six. This is four by four. Try to vary things a little bit. Vary the color, vary the... They're all standing up. The grass is pretty close. Just kind of play with it a little bit. Oh, and then paint my edge while I'm thinking of it. Alright, oh, we could put a little aqua in there. So the aqua color is, is uh, thalo blue, just uh, some white, some cad yellow, and a little bit of thalo blue. The thalo blue is really strong. It doesn't look that aqua. My brush is dirty. Even it's getting sticky. So sometimes you should just put out fresh paint. of trying to use a paint palette for several paintings. <laughs> okay. I'm just going to grab some straight up blue here. My brush is dirty so that blue isn't that strong. Okay, we got a, got a good start. This could be a little taller. Okay, so we could put some, I think I'm gonna put a few flower, pink flowers in, because then we can put grasses on top of them. I'm gonna dry it with a hair dryer. All right, this is just a little round from uh, US Art Supply. It says two over zero. The numbers change per brand. It's just a little, I think it came in a pack. I am, when I ordered some stuff from US Art Supply, where these are from, I thought they had an inexpensive brush pack, so we just ordered it. Oh, actually, I don't know if I want any white. So the darker pink ones, I mean, you don't have to do them all darker pink, but they'll kind of be in the shadow. Oh, sorry, in shadow and pushed back. So actually, I don't know if I need to worry too much about, about it. They're kind of, these kind of look like poppies. Okay. I'll, 
probably sign it here again. So maybe let's put an oval. like how dark that was drying and now I don't know if I like how light that's drying. Okay, let's let's have this one be like a bud, so I probably almost need like a green. But this will remind me maybe. And if I don't remember, I don't remember. This one be kind of a bud too. And then maybe I might end up painting over some of these, but it'll help me kind of. Now I'm figuring out the flower design. And I try to remember not to line them up like all in a straight row. I'll just paint a triangle shape. So all I'm doing is trying to push some paint into the canvas. Like I, I would normally, well I'm going to put more grasses in because I like to get a little deeper color. Okay. Should we have like a So if that one comes down here, maybe have one. Oh, I'm going to line them up like this. <laughs> it's so easy to do. And if you get enough of them in there, then it doesn't matter. I just try to pay attention to it. Kind of make a heart shape. Actually, we could put a little, little one in there. Try to paint a little faster here. Let's kind of have one. We'll put some grasses over a big one here. Let's see. If I sign it about where my thumb is, put kind of a big one. What shape do we want it? That's pretty much the same shape as that. Still kind of the same shape as that one. Okay, I'm not changing the shape. It is getting bigger. My flowers, trees, those kinds of things tend to grow. Even my, my portraits when I do an animal painting. You could trace like inside the, inside the outer edge so that when you grow, you're, you're at the right point when your paint spreads out. I'm going to make that one darker. Well, I'm probably going to come back and play with all of them. I just wiped off my brush because it was so loaded with paint. So a lot of, um, many times, like this one looks, this one comes up and looks in to the painting. This butterfly is looking, I kind of lost my V. It was looking down into the V. This one's looking sort of 
towards the butterfly. This one almost acts like a stock, because it's straight up and down. This one's looking that way. I tend to have a lot of them looking in. I think we'll just do a swipe. So now what I'm saying to myself is we can come back and add more. I just want to have some in there to put grasses over them and I could come back and bring them forward again if I wanted. We'll have this one looking more the wrong way. Okay. I'm gonna try to keep my brushes I've been using out, just this one and that one. So I don't keep switching brushes on you. You can use any brush you want. Okay, let's darken things up a little bit. Just do some straight up phthalo maybe. Oh, you know what too, I wanna, um, if my V's there, I kinda wanna, well, I don't know if I want that color though. I wanna remember to, ooh, it's dry. Let's see if I can bring my V back. I kind of painted it out. Okay. I'm gonna paint. Ooh, that was watery. So you can um Change the direction of the next layer of grasses if you want. Keep them kind of the same. Try to keep this thin. That's better. I think I still want that darker. I'm just gonna wipe my brush off on a paper towel. Oh, you know what makes a good, an, an interesting green? Let's see if I can do it. Just a pinch of, probably need more yellow. Cause that black is so strong. Here. I don't have a ton of room on my palette, but. There, you can kind of see it starting to go green-ish. Isn't that fun? It may vary. I've, I, I've only used Mars Black. Um, it may vary per brand too. Even if they call it Mars Black. Grabbing some more of that kind of army green. Oops. Oop, trying to hold it in frame up in the air. <laughs> so I noticed those two are the same height, so I changed the height. When you have so many, you don't have to worry about each strand of grass so much. Okay, let's go over, but I think I need a, let's grab some of this color. It has white in it, so it'll be more, it'll be opaque. Oh, the black should be opaque, but we don't have much in that yellow. That's why that army green is transparent. And we can come back and darken that flower up too if we don't like the, like how it looks. Some brown. Yeah, let's grab some brown. Oop, that pretty much covered it. Well, nothing happened. It's all up and towards the my tip of my brush, not on the end of my brush. Probably should dry it so I can hold it. 
All right, I'm getting my V back a little bit here. And what I mean by that is it the grass dips down in here. Oh, goodness, I've got problems. Cat hair and nothing coming off my brush. I'm just gonna grab some straight up brown. Yeah, it's getting dry. So I kind of poke into it for fresh paint. I don't know if I went green that far. Kind of want to go taller almost. Let's just do that. I'm gonna set it down. Sorry guys. Part of it's just because I'm trying to do this step by step in real time for you. Hmm. I'm just not happy with that. It's um little black, little brown. The hmm is I'm not getting very good flow, so I grabbed a little bit of water. So the brown's gonna be transparent, or semi-transparent, because my cad yellow and my quindacridone are semi-transparent. That little box is half full on the diagonal. Let's just leave that. Now I'm just looking for kind of coverage. I kind of want a darker green, but I usually mean blue. Could add a little black. My paints are getting sticky, I'm fighting them. Let me know in the comments if you guys do that. <laughs> Should put out fresh paint, you don't. You're kind of fighting the stickies. Okay, I lost all my variation there. But I'm just, see how it, when it dries, you get the little specks of the canvas coming through? Of course, this paint's pretty thin, so I don't know if it's gonna totally do what we want there. Do you see how I just did those two Vs? That one's kind of going into the, it's kind of going to fade anyway. Let's go darker. Even though I didn't want it blue over here, I've kind of got blue to brown. I'm going to put some blue over here. I just did it again, kind of. There. I've got my lightest area right in the middle. So let's do this. If you don't like the texture of the canvas uh, paint on wood, throw some more gesso on it. That can help too.
think we're good. Let's um go a little darker if we can. Okay, I'm gonna dry it. All right, let's get going on our butterfly. I was gonna pull up my drawing, but I really don't need it because I don't have any color on it. And now that I've said that I like, oh, I wanna put a little, I'm moving it because I'm getting glare from the light. I don't know if you guys get glare. Here, screenshot. Makes me want to make it darker over here too. Or maybe go lighter. I just dried it. We want to keep it dry. Just swipe, I swipe. Okay, I don't know if that did anything. I grab a little water. I don't think this brush will roll, roll to a point like some of them will. All right, I think we'll just make the body black. And if I don't go outside that chalk pastel line, I can, once it's dry enough, I can just wash off. Um, it works better if your background's really dry rather than painting it all in one session. I think we'll be okay. I, I really don't know how to do the wings as far as color. I'm thinking like so we want we want a pink painting. I did. Uh, I'm just like I have this is pink, except for the I just got water on it. Except for the bumblebee is yellow, yellow and brown. So maybe like a. Okay, so maybe orange. Yay! We still have some good orange in there. After you wash out your brush, you really should wipe it off. I'm really bad about doing that. Sometimes you'll get like a drip that comes down onto your painting. Maybe I'll just paint it all orange. Here. I'm gonna, I'm gonna lighten up my chalk pastel lines. This is a kneaded, K-N-E-A-D-E-D, -E -E kneaded eraser. There's different brands. I don't know if I have one in my drawer here. <gasps> I do. Um, is that Faber Castell? I never knew how to say that. Okay, back to the orange. Ooh, I lightened it up so much I almost can't see it. Oh, my orange is transparent. I forget. You can see the blue coming through. I'm gonna grab a little white because the white will make it more opaque, meaning you can't see through it as easy, easily. I'm just gonna draw or paint kind of a straight line. We have a butterfly. 
I might paint more. So I'm not a big butterfly fan in that I don't, like monarchs are gorgeous. I just, for someone who likes to paint detailed pet portraits, I don't want to paint a monarch butterfly with all the veins. Isn't that funny? Maybe someday I will. I'm going to grab a little, maybe I'll just grab a little yellow, a little white. Orange. Kind of get a I'm getting picky here. Just kind of looking for a little bit of a, a little bit on the red side, but with the white it'll go a little kind of salmon color. I always go outside my lines. <laughs> do you guys do that? Yeah, that's pretty good coverage. It's easier to push up against an edge and pull it. So like push the paint up to it and pull the paint. Let's go more yellow. I'm just kind of looking for coverage right now and I'm going to make it more pink. Or at least part of it pink. I'm painting this for the, a friend. And they wanted pink flowers and a pink butterfly. I said, well, can we Maybe make the butterfly not all pink so that um, it stands out a little bit more. It's our star of the show. Cute. Okay, let's let it dry. Actually, I could, maybe I should. <laughs> I rhymed. Maybe kind of tie it in just a little bit. Although with the B, I don't mind that this is the only, I keep getting water on this. Good thing I varnished it. With the B, I don't mind it's the only yellow thing in the painting. Sometimes I'll, I'll still put yellow. But, but when someone requests, you know, pink flowers, I try to do what they want. It is helpful when you're painting, um, I, I don't know, you don't have to do any rules, art rules, um, but it can be nice to tie in some of your colors, like put some of my sky color into the grass would be pretty too. Okay, now I want to do it because I said it. <laughs> of course, it's going to look like a sky hole, so that can also be a problem. Kind of like when you put sky holes in trees, that's what I meant by the sky hole. So I don't think we're going to do that too much. You get the idea. Okay, I'm slowing down, I feel like, here. Let's work on more. Well, here, now I'm, I'm thinking of it. I said I kind of wanted to... Just leave that one green. I think I make this one green. One more. Clean it off my brush. All right, let's put in some more flowers. Let's kind of just do like a V maybe. My voice sounded funny. I'm looking down. <laughs> Grab a little white. Try it again. 
Sometimes I have too much water. I think we just need to let it dry. You can kind of bring up what's behind the grass a little bit if you wanted. I feel like we need some more hot pink ones or red ones or something. We could paint kind of a square one. You can have, like this one has a stem. They don't all have to have stems. Like that one really doesn't. This one right here. Or we could just put a little stem and have it fade out. I didn't do anything. I'm just trying to make it darker. I don't know if that's doing anything. Let's go back to the flowers. You can have more than one brush going if you keep them damp. So you have like a green brush, you know, a yellow brush. Oil painters will do that. They'll have like several of the same brushes and just kind of lay them on there. Palette. It works better for oil painting. I kind of want to wash that. Hopefully it's dry enough. Okay. So really, I mean, this is the painting. It's just how much detail do you want to put in it? my V. So now I'm thinking have them looking different directions. I think maybe what I need is some straight up magenta. I've got a lot of light pink. Let's just grab some straight up magenta. Oh, I got water. And just some more magenta in case my little canvas blocked. Using a little thicker paint. Oh, had a big blob on there. get it to I don't know. 
kind of play with it. do that one that one's pushed back I'm gonna stop the video for a second so I can step back and take a look okay I don't know if that helped actually what I would do I guess I could do it is like go get a cup of tea check the weather <laughs> we're supposed to get a bunch of snow tonight 7 to 10 inches, and then it's going to be windy and blow. It's going to be light and fluffy. And be windy and blow. Uh-oh, I've got a dirty brush there. I must have hit the green or something. Oh, maybe I got it off of the paper towel. I'm just kind of reinforcing the pinks. Try to brighten them up a little bit. Might just paint that over again. We might be good and I'm just playing with it because I'm not totally satisfied. We need some more over here because I'm holding it here probably. Actually, let's go lighter. So just a swipe, a dot. change direction okay I think we have plenty what can we do should we put like really light I'm thinking about the butterfly now we could grab some water Shoot, what do I want to do? I might take some quinacridone. I don't know if this is going to work. So you can see it's kind of thin. I'm going to grab a little bit of water. Let's just see what happens here if I.
So if you hold your breath, it's okay, but it's easier if you don't. <laughs> when, we, when I do the live streams, a lot of times Emily holds her breath, trying to help me. Do we like that? We need to let it dry. So I'm just trying to go out right to, uh, right to where I had the, the orangey color. I don't know if I like that. All right, we'll let it dry. I kind of made a red butterfly because the, the yellow is coming through the pink. And these this will make a, if we have more yellow, it's an orange. If we have more magenta uh, quinacridone or Add more quinacridone, you'll get a red. Hmm. Let's put some dots in where that dries. Some black in it. I don't know if we need it. You can also use this end for even a bigger dot. Yeah, let's put some black in. They're poppies. Oof. Trying to figure out where. I don't know if I'm gonna like that. Ah, I do not like that. I'm gonna dry this with a hair dryer. Okay, I just got nervous that I didn't push record. I think I did for, I don't think I've missed a step. If I have, when I go back and edit this, my apologies. I am practicing being a YouTuber just like I am practicing being an artist. All right, I wanna pink up the butterfly now. I was trying not to make it too pink. I just got some blue in there. I think we're okay. Let's see. Yeah, that looks like the same color. Okay. So what to do? I don't think we need to do a lot. It's a simple butterfly. Thank you. 
All right, let's go darker. I'm gonna wipe off my brush. There. It is harder to paint little. This might be a cute 8x8. Eight eight. Oh, that might be too dark. I'm gonna just leave it like that. Actually, maybe. Should grab some straight up quinacridone. Cool beans. Cool beans? I haven't said that in a long time. Okay, hopefully this video isn't getting too long. I have no idea. I need to sign it, which I can do off camera. Oh, I know. Here, I've got a little teeny, of course it's not, it's not, it's fuzzy. I don't know if you can see that it's fuzzy. It's a three over zero. I'm gonna grab some water. Put some antenna on there. I'm tempted to make the head just a little bigger. That could be a mistake. Oh yeah, I don't know if that brush, even though it's small, if it won't hold a point, Sometimes that doesn't help you at all just because it's teeny. I'm just gonna flick. I can see my uh, bristles separating. Let's try a little thicker maybe. But those are a little heavy. we'll just leave it. Okay guys, I'm calling it done. Fun. Simple little poppies, simple little butterfly, um, couple clouds, screenshot. Hopefully I have it all in frame. <laughs> the tape helps, my tape marks. Let me know if you give this one a try. I, I love chatting with you guys. It's the best. You all brighten my day every day. I can't thank you enough. Your support. I've got water there. Your support means the world to me. Thank you. Thank you. Great big happy art hugs. And I hope to chat with you soon. Bye guys.